WBRG Silent Radio. This is Questions and Shit with DJ Los Santo. I'm here right now with Publicity Stunt. These motherfuckers hail from the South Shore. Uh, you know, you got three guys who play instruments and shit. Uh, they're trying to make music, uh, buy something from them, or, you know, eat shit. So anyway, uh, this is my main man right here. This is Zaf. Please don't laugh, but he's a comedian. This is Adam Bomb. And uh, this is Mike, the circle of life Simba over here. Um, he actually breastfeeds uh, nursing baby lions uh, at the zoo on the weekends to make some extra money for his college, uh, you know, adventures and shit. I like it when they bite my nipples. <laughs> that is pretty hot. Okay. Also, this episode is brought to you by Caribou Lou. Caribou Lou, make your mouth come. Also brought to you by Christie's Motel. They got beds. Also brought to you by Crazy Homie apparel crazy homie you put the hoe in homie nigga anyway so here we are on the 49th floor of the blue chip casino hotel and resort the tip of the chip as you can see from the illustrious studio we've actually been forced to hide out in a fucking water closet aka the shitty bathroom but that's cool because it actually doesn't smell that bad in here because nobody ever makes it upstairs anyway uh i don't know if the 49th floor is accurate but it's pretty high up here anyway uh, let's see. Uh, Gabba Gabba, we accept you, we accept you. I hear this phrase a lot with you guys. Uh, what is it? What's it all about? Well, pretty much that's, uh, that's Adam's range. That's, that's his, Adam's that's range. That's his singing range. So that's, that's pretty much what he stays at. Nice. Like Yo Gabba Gabba, like the show, you bust out hip hop and uh, dress up with like puppets and shit. He, he plays with puppets in his spare time. But yeah, that's, that's yeah, more that's of a that's recreational that's, thing. Yeah. We don't try to keep that separate from the band. Okay, okay, I see. Have you guys ever thought about doing, uh, you know, with the, the, the Gabba Gabba, we accept you. Have you ever thought about uh, maybe trying to put that into some kind of video or making uh, something where you can use the band as maybe a, a, a gateway to, you know, expose yourself from all, all sides of your art, you know? I, I usually uh, use the band as a gateway to expose myself. Um, I expose myself as often as I can. Well, holy shit, he's trying to expose himself right now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank God this shit's totally censored. I just paid for this. <laughs> Uh, let's see. You guys, uh, you guys got a couple songs that you just played. Uh, what was the one uh, halfway written? I assume this is a work in progress. Uh, <laughs> no, it's no. actually all the way written. But uh, that's a very, that's a very ironical uh, title for that song. It's very amusing, very amusing, fellas. I like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. You guys got some big shows coming up. I see you guys are playing in Chicago in January at Reggie's. Yeah, we're playing at Reggie's. It's going to be a lot of fun. Right. You guys ever been to that joint? No, we no, have not. Um, There's a green room downstairs that lets you fuck hookers. I swear to God, it's awesome. the craziest shit. And they don't, you can't smoke in Chicago? We blow it up down there. Me, my fucking guy, Stoney, fucking stoned. I mean, that's what you do. It's the green room. You get fucking fried. I mean, I don't know if you guys smoke. I mean, I wouldn't suggest that anybody smokes in Indiana because it is still illegal. But when I get back to Colorado, I got to fill my script. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, what are the other songs that uh, people are going to be able to hear uh, as they're streaming this? Uh, we did uh, We did Hypocrite. Hypocrite of the Year. Hypocrite yes. of the Year. Hypocrite of the Year. Is that an award that you guys give out or something? We, we yes. It's simply to the yeah. biggest douchebag you can possibly run into, yes. Yeah. We like, we like, you know, because, you know, I feel like if you're a big enough of an asshole that people recognize it, you should be rewarded, you know? Right. Fucking A, right. It's an yeah. insulting Fuck song. Yeah. 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 To some, to some. But maybe, uh, you know, some somebody might cherish that. Maybe, so, you know, some people like to be uh, the assholes. Um, through life, sometimes we find out that we are what we eat. Am I right? Exactly. Right. exactly. All right, only after a shower, baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Real quick, I just want to mention that we got the Pop Pop Show weeknights from 6 to 11 p.m. Central Standard Time with Dr. Pop Popkowski. He's, uh, he's kind of deaf in his one ear, so you're going to have to speak up, caller. Yellow. Uh, let's see. WBRG. It's like milk you can chew. Mm. Chewy milk. Yo. Which is a, another way of saying cheesy. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I see you guys are... Um, not sports fans. I don't see any uh, any gear. It's football season. Uh, I play football, but I don't really watch much otherwise. You suck. Anyway, next question. It's uh, <laughs> my free time. We don't like talking about it. 
Oh, he, this guy, he doesn't like to talk anyway because it's the circle of life. <laughs> so, you know, I fucking, uh, I'm holding this guy off the fucking cliff after the end of this interview, so it should be pretty exciting. Uh, let's see. Um, this guy's dressed up like he works uh, for Santa Claus at the, the mall, yeah. taking pictures of little children. I, um, he normally do the takes courts, pictures of little children. I was going to say, do the courts know? Do the courts know that you're actually involved uh, with that type of work now? No comment. All right, I can either confirm or, or, or deny these allegations, but uh, I did flip through his phone earlier, and I'm pretty sure that shit's not legal. Dude. But hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making you a copy now. <laughs> uh, anyway, like I said, I've never seen this guy before. Um, yeah, you could hit me up at, uh, at my Facebook or um, hit my face. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh, I see you guys got a, you guys got an album out right now. I see you guys uh, recorded an album at uh, the Unemployed Studios. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. 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 With uh, Jeff the Chef. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you guys were not aware, we actually just uh, hired DJ Jeff the Chef. He's running a uh, hardcore punk rock show Sunday nights at eight o'clock Central Standard Time and rebroadcast at ten. Uh, if you guys are lucky, you know maybe he'll throw you a bone um, and he won't put it on video. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, you know it's fucking cold as shit outside, guys. What are you guys doing to stay warm this time of year? Uh, uh, I spoon with men. It helps. They're bigger. I stay in the middle. Yeah, that's why he kind of crowds around us. I'm usually the one in front, so yeah, I'm usually behind. You know, is, is that is that where the actual title "Circle of Life" comes from? Is is it some kind of uh, some kind of uh, relation to uh, the bunghole by chance? Uh, it takes about ten minutes to actually describe it. But, yes. Okay, we don't have time for that, but you can check out that exclusive description at uh, wherever the fuck you want. You can make it up in your own head because he's not saying shit after the show anyway. Uh, <laughs> My mouth will be full. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be sure to edit that in quite a few times over, <laughs> over the next couple of weeks. Never ask uh, maybe, maybe that'll be a new slogan, uh, WBRG, <laughs> my mouth will be full. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Okay, now this is our uh, this is our debut uh, episode of uh, questions and shit with DJ Los Santo. Uh, what do you guys think of the show so far? Oh, that's pretty cool. Time. I like it. I'm having, I'm having fun. I gotta work on getting some some chairs and shit in here. You know, we were gonna have a powwow, but the concrete is cold and my hemorrhoids are a real motherfucker right now. So uh, understandable, understandable, <laughs> understandable. Fucking a, you gotta fucking. <laughs> I can't sit down either. <laughs> Ah, see, I knew it. I knew it. I knew this guy with the sucker of life, man. Fucking shit. <laughs> uh, let's see what else is going on. Um, it's Michigan City. You guys are from Michigan City, am I correct? Right. Unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> you have given me the answer I have heard a lot lately. Are you familiar with the expression Michigan shitty? Yes. Don't diss my hometown. People who say that are fucking assholes, okay? So, all right, next question. <laughs> Because I'm just telling you, you know, that's, I, I, don't, I don't love it here, but it doesn't love me either. So we're like in a fucked up relationship where it's like, I fucking, I hate this, but then it hates me equally. So it's like... Marriage? Yeah, it's like getting what you give. Um, but it's weird getting fucked while you're fucking. You know what I mean? It's, it's, a odd, it's an odd feeling. I'm, I'm used to yeah, it, actually. Yeah, my, my you're going to have to give me some lessons on that shit because I, I've with the, the hip thrusting. I, I, I'm a bit, what you do, it's... Uh, it's a reverse uh, handstand uh, doggy style, and you flip to eating her out. Are you familiar with the you Chinese butt fucker? Call no. The Chinese butt fucker is an ancient technique which was actually reintroduced here in the United States by my homeboy Patrick Christensen back in the Godfather's days. Don't eat the pizza, you know what I mean? So anyway, uh, it's where you actually, it's like the original shocker, you know what I'm saying? Where you're, where you're actually, uh, you, got, you got two for her, you know what I mean? But then you got this one up here, and it's kind of hanging out for you. So it's like you do it like this titty fucking while you're finger banging her, and then you pop your own cork with your thumb. Oh. A.K.A. bust the radish. <laughs> See, I told you it wasn't called a zaff. <laughs> uh, please don't laugh. 